Like I remember when I first started, you know, it was like, man, if you if you're a great kickboxer, if you can just stop a takedown so you can become a high school wrestler. I like Chuck uh, Liddell. Yeah, but but the level was a lot less. I mean, back in 97, it's like, well, if you're like a purple belt and then you had college wrestling and you had basic striking, you you're were good. great. You're great. You're one of the best guys. Now it's like you have to have a black belt in jiu-jitsu. You have to be really, you know, high level at wrestling or at the very least stopping takedowns. And then, you know, your striking has to be at least solid. You know, so the level just raised, and the more the years go on, you're gonna have to be an excellent boxer, an excellent kickboxer, and a black belt in jiu-jitsu, an amazing wrestler with takedowns and defense, you know. So the level, the package of what it took to be an MMA fighter has slowly, you know, gone up over the years. And now it's like, I remember the days were like, man, imagine if you were a black belt in jiu-jitsu, a world champion Muay Thai guy, and a division one wrestler. Now you're starting to see guys like that who boxed when they were kids, that wrestled when they were kids, and now they're starting to get into jiu-jitsu, and their jiu-jitsu is really at a high level. So you're starting to see this evolution to where now everybody knows everything. Now it's a matter of um, individual fighter strengths and qualities and being able to break people down individually and, and film study and con strength and conditioning and timing and strategy and now be has become a very different thing than it, would, it was originally intended for. First of all, I think that the vast majority of MMA fights look exactly the same. Um, from one to show the to wall. the next. Huh? Drive them to the wall. Nah, that or, you know, guys just stand up and fight because that has been what the UFC and what MMA what, what has been marketed as exciting, stand-up knockouts and stuff. And if you can drop a guy, jump on him and submit him, that's exciting, that's great. But to be sitting there and actively working for submissions, working for takedowns, um, the people who make the decisions on what's exciting and what's not think that that is not as exciting. 